I was flying from Brazil to Argentina. Um, I'd been f- using like a bigger plane mm. on this entire tour, and this was like the last leg. And the airline I was using, the, the company I was using, was um, they couldn't give me a plane again. Like this was the last, like yeah. they couldn't. So I found a different airline. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I was using this plane. And this is, pri- by the way, you're flying private. Yes, 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 yes. I remember, you know, um, I, was, I was on the phone and I was like, because I was used to the bigger plane. Yes. Like, I don't know. This plane is like, I don't know. It's, it, it looks old, you mm. know. I even took a picture of like the floor and the rugs. I'm yeah. Like, it, it looks like no one has been using this. I was just making these comments. And then I was told, no, you spoiled, whatever. <laughs> you know? yeah. And I just felt, I felt uneasy. Mm. You know, by the way, while I was on this tour, I think a week before, because it was so fast paced, I would take a, a helicopter. I remember one day I, the helicopter came to the hotel. Okay. It landed on the tennis court yeah. to pick me up, to land right next to a plane. Oh, you know that was that that quick. Yeah, yeah. At some point, I landed on a plane and I took a helicopter that took me to the gig. Hmm. You know, I remember the week before I, I was on this helicopter and before it t- it took off, I just had fear. <whistles> you know, and as it, it is the the helicopter was taking off, I started praying. You know, like I just felt uneasy about mm. this particular ride. You mm. know. Um, I sent a message to my woman. I said, "I love you." <laughs> just yes. Only the following day. Case. Only the following day, she was like, hmm. Hmm. "I love you too," but she didn't know why. Yeah. You know. Um, and then um, the following week, then I'm on this flight from Brazil. I'm going to Argentina. Yeah. Um, took off. I had my seatbelt on. Cruise. The plane was cruising. Now I took the seatbelt on. Reclined my seat took a nap. I was listening to like a gospel album yeah. on my headphones. Reclined my seat, took a, took a nap, and then I woke up to something that felt like a dream or a nightmare. And the oh. plane was like shaking violently, like extremely violently. Oh. And I opened my eyes and everyone was trying to hold on. Um, but it was really like, actually, at first, because I, I was sleeping, I felt like I was in a rolling car. Oh. It felt like I was in a car and it was rolling. But it was like moving so violently, I fell on the floor. And I still had my headphones. Um, and the, there was a song that was playing, like a gospel song, that kept repeating, hallelujah, 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 on my headphones. Oh, my. Then it felt like a dream because I'm like... Yes, yeah, what's going on? Yeah. yeah, it really... And it was a loop. And the loop kept getting higher and higher. It felt like... I had this choir or these angels singing to save me at that moment. Wow. Like see. continuously. And now I was on the I was on the floor, I get up, I I, I sit on the chair. We all trying to hold on and then the plane just dipped like so fast and then I hit the the ceiling or the roof of the plane mm. with my head. Um then I was out. I was like unconscious. Out. Yeah, like like for for a couple of seconds. Um, then I I it wasn't for long. I was on the floor again. Um, then it was simmering down, you know. But the plane inside was so destroyed. Still flying. Sure. The, the um, oxygen mask were hanging. Everything was broken. The, even the glass I was using to drink water. Everything was broken. My glasses were broken. Um, there was water everywhere, basically. And then I was feeling this pain on, on my upper back, like sharp, sharp, sharp pain. I couldn't see it. You know, I told the pilots, we have to land, we have to land, we have to land. Uh, I was traveling with two security guards, yes. um, American guys who were really tough on the pilots, like, you have to land. You know, so we landed in Uruguay. Mm. They were insisting we continue. We were close, I mean... If we're in Uruguay, we're close to Argentina, yeah. you know, but we, we had to land in Uruguay and there was an ambulance and then I was in hospital. Then the following day I had surgery, like a five hour surgery. 
because what? my spinal my upper spinal cord was damaged so they had to fix my upper spinal cord and and have like metal so I have metal holding on my spinal cord now what is Robocop? I'm half man half machine what? I can't wait to go back and play some music now. I'm on, I'm on fire. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man, we're laughing now because you're still sitting here with yeah, us. Man. Oh my yeah. word! So I spent I spent a week in hospital in, in Uruguay. Who's there? Um, my sisters flew the following day. They came uh, with a friend of ours, Sibs. Um, Christiana flew as well. So I had them every day coming to the hospital. Um, until I came back, we flew. We flew back together, um, which was like such a like a beautiful thing, you know. Because um, it's so far out, I could have been alone there. Uh, my point exactly. You know, I could have been alone. Hence, there. I asked that question. Yeah. But I literally saw everything, man. I I saw my life ending. I was like, this is it. And I was praying. I was. I wasn't even praying to be alive. I was just. Praying to get to heaven, good. Yeah, I'm like, don't lock me out, God. Wh- whatever it is, yeah, let no, me in. I don't want to be on the other side. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know what it looks like. It, but it was done. I, I feel yeah. like it was done. And and here I am, man. I feel like I've been given, I've been given a second chance. 